Life Empowerment Consult presents Moments of Empowerment brought to you by Reverend Edu Cheme. Reverend Edu Cheme is the General Secretary of Top Ministries International, CEO of Life Empowerment Consult and Director of Christ Academy. Life Empowerment Consult empower, inspire, motivate and strengthen the youth to discover, develop and release their potential. Today's message. Ladies and gentlemen, is another opportunity to bring you moments of empowerment powered by life empowerment consult i want us to discuss a topic overcoming obstacles overcoming obstacles obstacles are anything or things that stand in between us and our objectives in between us and our success in between us and our dreams and our aspirations and they come always they face every individual if only you have a vision if you only have a dream you definitely will encounter obstacles in your way but today i want you to realize that over uh, obstacles come to be overcome and therefore you can overcome every obstacle that comes your way now everyone faces disappointments in life everyone faces disappointments as he puts an objective before him and it is always the people who have made up their mind never to give up these are people who overcome the obstacles and then get to their visions and to their dreams disappointments are feelings of sadness or displeasure caused by non-fulfillment of one's hopes of expectations now we all have expectations we all have dreams we all have purposes and aspirations we all aim at getting to certain levels in life but as we make up our mind to proceed when obstacles come our way when difficulties emanate when troubles rear their ugly heads people become discouraged they become disappointed and this feeling of sadness or displeasure that people encounter when their dreams and visions and aspirations are not fulfilled is what we call disappointment is what we call disappointment but winners don't give give up easily winners don't get discouraged they stand irrespective of difficulties and hardships in life what should be the attitude of people who come again across discouragement or what are the attitudes what should be the attitude of people who face obstacles in life let's turn our bibles quickly to habakkuk chapter 3 the book of habakkuk chapter 3 and from verse 17 habakkuk 3 from verse 17 Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no head in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer feet. And he will make me walk on my high hills. This is the word of God. When you expect your, 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 your fig tree to blossom, when you expect your vines to bear fruit, when you expect your labor to be to be paid with success and they do not come just as you expect the tendency for you to be saddened the tendency for you to be discouraged is very high but the people who win never get discouraged 
Winners never quit, and quitters never win. Now, the author of this scripture is saying that even though the fig tree may not blossom, even though the expectation of having the fig tree blossom would not come to pass, even though the fruit on the vines will not show up, even though your flock may not bring birth, your sheep may not bring birth, even though there will not be multiplication, even though things do not go the way that you expect them, even though you face obstacles in your way, even though there arise many adversaries in your life, even though there are adversities, now the author of the scripture says that in all of these, my joy will be full. In all these, I will joy in the God of my salvation. In all your obstacles, if you only want to be a winner, don't be discouraged. Don't be disappointed. Don't turn your back to your goals and to your visions. Don't turn your back to your aspirations. Face the problems. Face the obstacles. Overcome them. Overlook the obstacles at your feet and concentrate on the opportunities at Above your head, like Jesus Christ, who for the joy that was set before him just went to the cross and endured the hardship, endured the pain, and never gave up. One day you will also get there, and after you've gotten there, you can look back and tell yourself, Yes, I fought a good fight, I am finally there. You can succeed, you can make it. Even though the fig tree will not blossom, even though the vine will not bear its fruit, even though your flock will not fill your, 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 your barn and your stock, God is on your side. Things may not go the way that you want them to go, but your God is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever, Jesus Christ is the same. He is with you. When difficulties come, roll the ball into the court of Jesus Christ. When pains and agonies come your way, know that you have your shock absorber in the person of Jesus Christ. He will hold you on. You will lift up your head above the waters. You will not be drowned because when you go through the waters, God has promised he will be with you. When you go through fire, he has promised he will never let you alone. You will never be disappointed because you have a faithful and a trustworthy God. He knows no disappointments. He knows no failure. Get yourself up. Get your loins and stand up tall against all opposition, against all adversity, against all difficulties because you have a God who is on your side. Even though things do not go the way you expect them, my brother, my sister, don't give up. Even though the enemies will be on your way, don't give up. Don't quit because your weapon may endure just for the night and joy comes in the morning and at the end of the tunnel, there is light. Through the tunnel, there will be darkness, but as you go through the tunnel, Whilst you don't give up, whilst you don't quit, you come to the end of the tunnel, and at the end of the tunnel, there is light. So encourage yourself, give yourself a pep talk, pat yourself at the back, and tell yourself, yes, mountains may be in my way. Tell yourself, yes, difficulties may come. Tell yourself, yes, adversity will arise. But I have made up my mind that I am not quitting. I have made up my mind that I am not giving up. I have made up my mind that I will get there finally. And when you get there, you will even forget the pains and the agonies that you went through. Get yourself encouraged. Tell yourself, I will not quit. Tell yourself, I will not turn my back to the enemy. Tell yourself, I will not, I will not 
quit my dream. I will hold on to my aspirations. I will hold on to my dreams because I know finally I will get there. I want to encourage you. You will get there, brother. You will get there, sister. Don't give up. Don't turn your back to the enemy. Tell yourself, he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. Tell yourself, if God has never let me and he's with me, and I see no reason why I should quit. Don't get disappointed for God is on your side. God richly bless you. Next week, same time, meet me and we'll continue. Bye-bye. Shalom. Thank you for watching today's message. If you have been blessed by the message, you can leave us a comment below or write to info at reverendeducherma.com. To become our partner of our counseling and prayers, call the numbers on your screen. Visit our office on the second floor, top auditorium, Sunyane, from Monday to Friday, 8 o'clock GMT to 2 o'clock GMT. Visit www.reverendeducherma.com for more videos, audios, motivational quotes, and full sermon.